Hey guys, Joe Kane here with American Motors and this week's how to is how to inspect the diesel engine. First thing I'm gonna do when inspecting a diesel engine is check for cold water leaks. I'm gonna look underneath the truck and see if I see any kinds of drop of coolant or oil. Uh, if I don't see anything, I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna check my hoses. Uh, typically, you'll see water starting to beat up around the hoses. Uh, then I'm going to go down and check the front of my radiator here and see if I see any kinds of uh, coolant on the inside of the radiator and on the front. Uh, if you don't see any coolant, then I go over here to the compressor and check my compressor uh, uh, and check around the coolant hoses on the, on the compressor. They're actually deep in here uh, where these fittings are. Those are coolant hoses. We're checking those for coolant and checking the head of the compressor for coolant leaks. Uh, if I don't see anything there, I get down and I start inspecting my head and seeing if I see any drips of coolant on the head. So this truck looks good. Let's go to the other side. Second part of this is we're going to start at the top again and check, uh, check for coolant leaks around the thermostat housing and our coolant reservoir. Uh, work our way down. Most uh, common area for a coolant leak is on the water pump right here. So we're going to check the front of the uh, water pump here and the back of it. Uh, check all these hoses right here that are going into your EGR cooler. Typically, uh, when cold water leaks happen, you'll see them uh, bubble up from right here and then check them on the back. Again, we're going to check the head for any sorts of, uh, any signs of coolant. Another place uh, coolant leaks could happen is on top of this turbo actuator. Uh, so do a good job and uh, check all these areas. Next thing we want to do is check our engine oil. We're checking the engine oil for two things. One, we want to see if it's low, or two, we want to see if it's over full. If it's low, why is it, go why is it low? And two, if it's over full, why is it over full? We just want to make sure there's no contamination in the oil, or the oil isn't contaminating something else or leaking. Next thing we want to do is check our coolant level. If our coolant level's good, we want to check for contamination. Really, when checking for contamination, we're looking for uh, three things. We're looking for oil, we're looking for fuel, or we're looking for combustion gas. The way we could do that is uh, see if the oil looks milky. If it looks milky, it's more than likely uh, uh, oil contamination. If, it, uh, if the coolant has fuel in it, typically you'll see it kind of separate. It's a little tougher to find, but smell it, and if you smell fuel in the coolant, then you know it's probably contaminated with fuel. Combustion gas is really the tough one to find, but an easy way to kind of look up for combustion gas is look at the top of your radiator uh, reservoir. Uh, on these nice clear ones, it's easy. It'll kind of it'll kind of black the top of these uh, coolant reservoirs. Typically, that means you have a head gasket uh, issue if you see comb combustion gas. Another way to test it is start the truck and see what type of pressure it's building. If, you're, uh, if your coolant's going over the overflow tube or bl blowing coolant out of the overflow tube, you probably have something going on with, uh, with the coolant, unless the coolant's over full. Uh, but uh, again, if you see signs of that, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have it inspected before purchasing the truck. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the fuel. We're gonna check the fuel for contamination. You might need a uh, flashlight to do this, but it could save you some headaches. Uh, what we're looking for in the fuel is we're looking for uh, oil contamination, algae buildup, or something else that could be contaminating that fuel, or coolant. Uh, those could all be major issues caused by the engine. Next, check your intake. Start from your air cleaners. Follow your pipes all the way down. What we're inspecting here is for any uh, any sorts of rips or tears in these boots or in these pipes here. Uh, check all the way down through your turbo. Uh, that's your intake side and then it's going to be your boost side on the outside of it. So check around these clamps. Again, pushing on them, checking for rips or tears. Uh, goes into your charged air cooler here. You're checking the front of your uh, charged air cooler CAC, looking for any sorts of dings or dents inside that. Again, we're going to check the pipes here, uh, checking the boots all the way through into your intake manifold, uh, and checking your intake manifold for any sorts of uh, loose bolts or uh, signs of a leak. Uh, 
the best way to check this is if you don't see anything when you're running the engine, uh, try to listen for any kind of whines or, or whistles. I think a lot of people think of intake that it's sucking. That's true over here, but it's blowing uh, on the boost side. So listen for uh, any kinds of whistles or whines. Typically that could be an exhaust leak or an intake leak. Next we're going to check the exhaust. Just like the intake, we're going to uh, inspect for leaks. Exhaust is a little easier to find because it'll typically blow out black soot if you got an exhaust leak. So I like to start around the manifold and check all six holes, check around the turbo flange gasket. Uh, if I don't see any leaks, I come back here to where my doser valve pipe is and check around these clamps right here for leaks. If I don't see anything, I also like to check my EGR cooler. Uh, I'm checking uh, around these clamps again for black soot. Uh, checking around the mixer valve and then also you're going to want to check your EGR crossover tube. Um, this is all good stuff to uh, check when checking for exhaust leaks. There's also uh, uh, differential pressure ports and other stuff you could check on this but if you don't th those aren't as common. Uh, most of your uh, exhaust leaks are going to come around the exhaust manifold of the turbo flange gasket. Next, let's check for fuel leaks. Uh, this Cummins ISX has a high pressure fuel system, so we're going to check around all these fuel lines going into uh, our injectors. Uh, check in here inside the head for fuel leaks. Check our high pressure fuel rail. Uh, check all these little banjo fittings, typically that's where coolant leaks will happen. Uh, check around our fuel filters, all these little composition fittings, all these fuel lines, check it all for fuel leaks. There's a little transfer pump down here that sucks fuel out of the fuel tank, check that for fuel leaks. Continue checking your fuel filter uh, fuel lines uh, for any sorts of coolant leaks and check the fuel filter for any kind of contamination. Next thing we want to check is our wiring. Uh, there's wiring all over these newer motors, so we're checking for making sure all the wiring is secured. We're checking for chafing, we're checking for burn marks, and we're also going to check for broken connectors. Next, we're going to check for check engine lights. We're going to turn on the truck here, we're going to let uh, the truck do its system checks, and we're going to see if any check engine lights pop up. So when we're on our road test, we really want to check for uh, vibrations. Get the truck up to uh, get the truck up to speed. You know, you want to feel for loss of power. I mean, if it's lugging without a load, you might, uh, you know, the truck might have a power issue. You also want to check all your gauges. Check uh, to monitor your pressures and your temperatures. Uh, so watch your oil pressure. Watch your watch your. Uh, uh, coolant temperature, your boost gauge, uh, make sure the truck's building air like it's supposed to. Just got back from our road test here and now we're going to check it for engine oil leaks. Uh, when checking for engine oil leaks, I always want to check the uh, biggest components uh, of the engine. So really around the head, underneath, uh, underneath the head gasket, checking for oil leaks. I'm checking my front structure, which is uh, where, where the front gear train meets the block of the engine and my rear structure is back here where the back of the block meets the flywheel housing. Uh, I want to check those two things uh, for oil leaks. O obviously all the other components uh, around your compressor, uh, power steering pump, check your oil pan for oil leaks. On the other side we're checking our head, our head gasket again. We're checking our rear, our rear structure, our front structure, and everything in between. We also want to come up here and check our front cover. The most important part of our inspection of an engine is checking the blow-by. We came back from our road test, we got the engine warm, now we want to check the blow-by. Uh, most engines are going to have some blow-by, but you don't want it spitting oil at you or uh, puffing like a freight train. And that's how you inspect a diesel engine. If I miss something, please feel free to comment below. If you want to see more how-to videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.